Now, this here, if you take a picture of this and there's in your paperwork, wherever it's at, you can also get the information. You can download this to your smartphone. Got it. Then you can run your awning, you can run your slide out, you can run your lights, all from your phone. You don't even need to be in there. Okay? But. And that's the LCI control? <clears throat> okay, got that. So, we're going to run the slide out out. Oh, that's in, so we're going to run it out. This runs off 12 volts, so you don't need to be plugged in to run it. Okay? rubbed up against there. No. Is that just that's their putty that they use oh. to staple the gotcha. roof okay. ceiling in. Okay. So. Okay. But all right. So we got inside LED lights, which is the blue lights. Mm -hmm. Okay. Outside is the same thing, same yep. color underneath your awning. Yep. Okay. Living room does all those. Okay. Kitchen does those. Okay. Anything okay. else in here that, that is not on right now, you got to push button and do it yourself. Okay. So those, those, oh, that globe's out. Which is easy to fix, just screws in. Okay. But this, you got to push button here. Okay. Go there. push the other one, Joe. Yep. Push them all. Woo. Balls right out 28, yep. same as the hitch. I left the wrench on the frame on the driver's side for you for snap up so I didn't tighten it. Okay, thanks. All right, Those. these got a little button in the middle. Okay, so what's the difference between the 12 volt and the. So we're we're not hooked to shore power right now. We're hooked to shore yeah, power. We are. Yeah, we are. Okay, so there will be certain lights that will not run. All your lights will run. Even, on, even without shore power. Your lights, your slide out, your awning, your refrigerator, um, your furnace, all runs off 12 volt. 12 volt, volt. okay, all right. Okay, in order to have AC, you gotta be plugged in. In order for your um, water heater to work on electric, it's gotta be plugged in. But it also works off gas too. Sure. So you don't have to be plugged in for that. But I'm, if I'm camping, I want AC, so I'm gonna be plugged in. Yeah. Right. So, but um, right here's your water pump. Okay. So flip that on when you get the water filled. And this you would is, hear it. Yeah. You'd hear, you hear. You'll hear it from here. You can. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is water heater. This switch here is for your gas side. Okay. What I'm gonna do is flip this on. Give us some time. Right now the gas isn't on, so it's not going to light. Okay. But what's going to happen is when we do that, before we do that, we're going to come in. I recommend get a grill lighter. Okay. I have one. Okay. Yeah. Come in here, turn your LP tanks on up front, come in here to light your stove. Okay. Okay. And it's real simple to do. Oh, it feels good in here. Yes, it does. <laughs> You can take this off if you want. You don't have to. But just turn this on and light it right here. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, you can do it here, but it's going to take you forever to get it to light. Okay. Okay. So just do that. Once you get it lit and let it burn for a few seconds, your furnace and your water heater will light quicker. Okay. All we're doing is purging gas from up front back to here. Your water heater's over there. Your furnace is right there. So everything's going to light quicker. Okay. okay. Now your furnace, your water heater. Let's say if it runs off gas besides that. Okay. This Air is 12 volt, so it runs on. Oh, battery. it is? Okay. Yes. Okay, 12 volt. All campers are coming with 12 volt refrigerators now. Okay. Because that's the big debate. Do you run propane to run your refrigerators while you're going down the road? So we don't have to worry about that. We'll be running it off a 12 volt. At all. Got it. Okay. Not at all. So, okay. But anyway, you're furnace and your water heater both will try to light three times. If they don't light your furnace, what it will do 
is the fan will kick off and it will just stay off. It won't turn back on. All I got to do is come back over here, turn it back on, off, and wait for a few seconds, turn it back on, and then it should ignite on the LP. The only reason why it's doing that is because it's not getting LP to it. Water heater is the same way. Okay. okay. It'll try light three times. If it don't, it's just going to do nothing. Okay. You won't have hot water. So just shut it off right there, and then turn it back on after a few seconds, okay. and then it should ignite. Okay. okay. But if you're looking back over here again, excuse me, right here, this is new because I this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. This is your 110, 110 volt water heater. So when you're plugged in, you can flip this switch once you get that filled. Flip that switch, you got it's going to start heating your water. It's okay. basically like an electric water heater at home. Okay. It's got the heat element inside of it, okay? So, otherwise, that's all you got to do. You don't have to do anything else out there besides put the plug on. Okay. Okay. Right. But when if that's empty, do not touch this. You'll end up burning up the heat on. Yeah. Okay. So my label maker, I think, will put a little label on there that says. Make sure you have water, sure, yeah. water here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you look right here, it says bat. All that battery. there is is the battery. Okay. I can push this little button. Right now we're plugged in, so it's reading full charge. Okay. And you can see it right here too. Fresh, that's your fresh tank. That's your drinking water, shower water, water brushing teeth water, whatever. Push it, it's reading empty because it's not full. Where are you getting the reading? It's right here. Oh, I can't see the light. Yeah, yeah. I can't see that little light. light. There we go. Okay. Yep. Okay. So they make this one panel for all trailers, okay? This does not have two black two toilets. So okay. your toilet one would be your toilet in there. Okay. Okay. Your gray one would be this sink in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Gray two. Don't no, have. Don't have. Okay. Okay. Um, but you can still push the button and you can still see there's <laughs> nothing in it. Okay. So now this electrical switch here, if for hypothetically speaking you want to have watch a pretty fire instead of set outside and it's raining where you need a little heat you got to flip this that turns that on and you can't run your microwave the same time that right. because that's switching your microwave off and giving right. that juice right i did my research yeah, you did, you <laughs> yeah. research. It did. i'll just let you oh you yeah. keep going you, you, you so keep that's going that's, <laughs> hey, that's fine okay this here what this is is it's telling me the volts that are going to the battery okay, okay. This does have a solar pack on the roof, okay? So it's keeping the battery charged at all times. Even if it's sitting next to your house, not plugged in, that's still gonna keep the battery charged, okay? But if that refrigerator's on, every night it's gonna run that battery completely dead because it's gonna run and it's gonna, it draws a lot of amperage yeah, yeah. and it's gonna run your battery dead. But if you don't want anything on in here, there is a battery disconnect in the front compartment over here on this side, and I'll show you where that's at. You can just shut it off. That kills everything in here. Nothing will work. Okay. So okay. it's not going to run your house battery down that way. Right. Okay. So, so we'll go back to the microwave. Any questions about any of that? So 